by the Maker. Could that be? I greet you, Warden. And you, Champion. Divine Justinia. Back at Haven, I saw... I thought I saw... How can you be here? She's not. I fear we face a spirit. Or a demon. You think my survival impossible? Yet, here you stand alive, in the Fade, yourselves. In truth, proving my existence either way would require time we do not have. Surely you can understand our concerns, and explain what you are. I am here to help you. You do not remember what happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, Inquisitor. The real Divine would have no way of knowing that I'd been made Inquisitor. I know, because I have examined memories like yours, stolen by the demon that serves Corypheus. It is the nightmare you forget upon waking. It feeds off memories of fear and darkness, growing fat upon the terror. The false calling that terrified the Wardens into making such grave mistakes? It's work. I would gladly avenge the insult this nightmare dealt my brethren. You will have your chance, brave Warden. This place of darkness is its lair. Corypheus seems to have a lot of demons at his disposal. How does he command so many? I know not how he commands his army of demons. His power may come from the Blight itself, but the nightmare serves willingly. For Corypheus has brought much terror to this world. He was one of the Magisters who unleashed the first blight upon the world, was he not? Every child's cry as the Archdemon circles. Every dwarf's whimper in the deep roads. The nightmare has fed well. The big demon Eremon was trying to bring through. Yes. It's nearby. Yes. Well, shit. When you entered the Fade at Heaven, the demon took a part of you. Before you do anything else, you must recover it. These are your memories, Inquisitor. going on here.
So, your mark did not come from Andraste. It came from the orb Corypheus used in his ritual. Corypheus intended to rip open the veil, use the anchor to enter the Fade, and throw open the doors of the Black City. Not for the old gods, but for himself. When you disrupted his plan, the orb bestowed the anchor upon you instead. I never thought Andraste did this. I did this myself, through my actions. No maker required. And now you may be certain. You cannot escape the lair of the Nightmare until you regain all that it took from you. You have recovered some of yourself, but now it knows you are here. You must make haste. I will prepare the way ahead. Something troubles you, Hawk. Those were Grey Wardens holding the Divine in that vision. Their actions led to her death. I assumed he had taken their minds, as you have seen him do before. Come, we can argue after we escape this dark place. Oh, I intend to. Do you think that was truly the Divine? Justinia was unarmed and unprepared. She could not have defended herself against the creatures of the Fade. Whether this is a kindly spirit or a demon fighting its rival for territory remains to be seen. That's great and all, but the nightmare is the thing currently scaring the shit out of me. A demon that steals fears from the minds of men. After what it did to my fellow wardens, I pray we find some way to strike it down. have a visitor. Some foolish little boy comes to steal the fear I kindly lifted from his shoulders. You should have thanked me and left your fear where it lay, forgotten. You think the pain will make you stronger. What fool filled your mind with such drivel? The only one who grows stronger from your fears is me. But you are a guest here in my home, so by all means let me return what you have forgotten.
guess this nightmare wasn't such hot shit after all. These are lackeys. Worse could be coming. Just let me have this moment to hope, all right?
Did you think you mattered, Hawk? Did you think anything you ever did mattered? You couldn't even save your city. How could you expect to strike down a god? You're a failure, and your family died knowing it. The force of demon would know where to hurt us most. Minor demons. Little fears scurrying to serve the nightmare and feed on its scraps. And they take the form of spiders. Something so many fear. You saw spiders? <sighs> spiders would have been a massive improvement from what I saw. This is the fade, my dears. Demons have no originality. They pluck their... Shapes from your thoughts. Well, now I feel better. Nothing like a Grey Warden, and you are nothing like a Grey Warden. I'll show you a Warden's strength, beast. Kunari will make a lovely host for one of my minions. Or maybe I will ride his body myself. I'd like to see you try. What's it like living as an apostate, Vivian? Do you really think you'll reclaim your power in the circle? At your age? Not one word. Demon! 
Keep running! I thought it was Andraste sending me from the Fade, but it was the Divine behind me. And then you... she died. Yes. So this creature is simply a spirit? I think we all knew that was the case, Warden. I am sorry if I disappoint you. memory of the divine a reflection if that is the story you wish to tell it is not a bad one what we do know is that the mortal divine perished at the temple thanks to the gray wardens as i said the gray wardens responsible for that crime were under the control of corypheus we can discuss this further once we return to adamant yes adamant where the inquisition faces an army of demons raised by the wardens how dare you judge us? You tore Kirkwall apart and started the Mage Rebellion! To protect innocent mages, not madmen drunk on blood magic! Even without the influence of Corypheus, the Wardens go too far. They need to be checked. They're a relic. The days of their usefulness have long since passed. What are you saying? You want to get rid of the Wardens? Everyone makes mistakes. They would have died to save us. Don't know that we can pass judgment on the only folks who know how to stop blights. This debate can wait until we're out of danger. Inquisitor. The Nightmare has found us. <laughs> Form up. I'm with you. Imitating the divine. At least for now, she is our only means to escape the fade. Warden Stroud, how must it feel to devote your whole life to the Wardens, only to watch them fall? Or worse, to know that you were responsible for their destruction? 
When the next blight comes, will they curse your name? With the Maker's blessing, you will end this race. Do you think you can fight me? I am your every fear come to life. I am the veiled hand of Corypheus. Himself, the demon army you fear, I command it. They are bound all through me. Ah, so if we banish you, we banish the demons. Thank you, every fear come to life. Ah! on our fear. Let it go hungry tonight. For the Inquisition!
mouths with the water, trying to prey on my deep fear of having wet calves.
get through the rift, Inquisitor. Get through, and then slam it closed with all your strength. That will banish the army of demons and exile this cursed creature to the farthest reaches of the faith. Rift! We're almost there! No. We didn't like that. I guarantee. There's another demon that's gonna show up. Nothing. You will die in agony! Cannot stand against me.
grow fat on your fear. Wardens caused this. A warden must. A warden must help them rebuild. That's your job. Corypheus is mine. It has been an honor. For the water! He was right. Without the Nightmare to control them, the mages are free, and Corypheus loses his demon army. Though as far as they're all concerned, the Inquisitor broke the spell with the blessing of the Maker. Once they understand what really happened... Honestly, after all the death they've seen, perhaps it would be better to let them believe the legend. Inquisitor, the Archdemon flew off as soon as you disappeared. The Venatori Magister is unconscious but alive. Cullen thought you might wish to deal with him yourself. As for the Wardens, those who weren't corrupted helped us fight the demons. We stand ready to help make up for Clarell's tragic mistake. Where is Stroud? Warden Stroud is dead, thanks to all of you. He alone stood against Clarell's madness. If not for him, you'd be dead, or slaves to a servant of the Blight. And you repaid that by branding him a traitor. Inquisitor, we have no one left of any significant rank. What do we do now?
You stay and do whatever you can to help. Stroud died believing that the Wardens were a force for good. I'm willing to give the rest of you one final chance to prove it. You're still vulnerable to Corypheus, and possibly his Venatori, but there are plenty of demons that need killing. Are you flinging these fools at demons now, my dear? Couldn't you just use rocks? While they do that, I'll inform the Wardens at Weishaupt what's happened. Best they not get caught off guard. Thank you, Your Worship. We will not fail you. Good luck, Inquisitor. It's been an honor. And take care of Varric for me. Hawk send me one final report. He's on his way to Weishaupt. As for the Grey Wardens, they are fighting demons and Red Templars while staying clear of Venatori. Hugh dealt Corypheus a significant blow, Inquisitor. The Grey Wardens carry respect in other nations. If we spread word that the Inquisition has their support, we may gain standing with nations that have suffered under the Blight. I will take the matter to Josephine. You took an army from Corypheus, but that will matter little if Orlais falls into chaos. All arrangements have been made for the ball in Halam Shiral. Let us know when you are ready to proceed. Remind me what we know about the plot against Selene. The Venatori are planning some kind of attack on the Imperial Court. Corypheus may even be fueling the conflict between the Empress and her cousin, Grand Duke Gaspard. If we warn Selene, she may prove a most valuable ally against Corypheus. I'll go as soon as I am able. Good. Cullen, Josephine and I will discuss the best way to gain an audience with the Empress. Speak with us when you are ready. What was she like? Divine Justinia. I saw... Or the spirit that took her form. I read your report. I know it isn't clear, but... She seemed calm. Serene, even. And she guided us the whole way through. That does sound like her. She did ask me to tell you something, though. She said, I'm sorry. I failed you, too. Oh. I should finish this before it slips my mind. Perhaps later we might discuss the matter further. Thank you. Inquisitor, greetings. I was recently appointed by Sister Liliana to keep her books in order. I'm so pleased to be here, helping out in my small way. Well, I should get back to work. What's going on here? It seems the revered mother is concerned about my undue influence over you. It is just concern. Your worship, you must know how this looks. You might need to spell it out, my dear. This man is of Tevinto. His presence at your side. The rumors alone. What's wrong with him being from Tevinto, specifically? 
I'm fully aware that not everyone from the Imperium is the same. How kind of you to notice. Yet still, you bow to the opinion of the masses. The opinion of the masses is based on centuries of evidence. What would you have me tell them? The truth? The truth is I do not know you, and neither do they. Thus, these rumors will continue. Oh? I'd like to hear what these rumors are, exactly. I... could not repeat them, Your Worship. Repeat them? So you've shared them before? I... see. I meant no disrespect, Inquisitor. Only to ask after this man's intentions. If you feel he is without ulterior motive, then I humbly beg forgiveness of you both. Well, that's something. She didn't get to you, did she? No. It takes more to get to me than thinly veiled accusations. You don't think she'll do anything? Do what? Yours is the good opinion I care about, not hers. I should ask, do the rumors bother you? Why should it bother me? Everyone's talking about the Inquisition. That's good. I'd hate to think I brought you any grief. Perhaps it's odd to say, but I think of you as a friend, Inquisitor. I have precious few friends. I didn't think to find one here. I... Don't speak. I detest confessions, and I'd like to get this over with. Allow me to say I'll stand beside you, against Corypheus, my countryman, or spurious rumor, so long as you'll have me. You have remarkably little here on early to winter history. All these gifts to the Inquisition, and the best they can do is the Malefica Imperio. Trite propaganda. But if you want 20 volumes on whether Divine Galatea took a shit on Sunday, this is evidently the place to find it. If I knew what you were looking for, I could help you. Ha! <laughs> you? I rather doubt that. Ah, <sighs> I apologize. That was unworthy. Did I see something by Genitivi here? I could have sworn. What is this about, Dorian? When everyone returned, they told us about your tumble into the Abyssal Rift. You went into the Fade. Physically went in. Are you... all right? Stroud is gone. The Fade is an ordeal under normal circumstances. To be the only real thing there, beyond description. That you made it out at all is a miracle. You do realize this feat hasn't been performed in over a thousand years. Corypheus and his contemporaries entered the Fade and began the Blights, in comparison. So, I should be happy I accomplished something so grand. Concerned, more like. If you can walk in the Fade, others will try to follow. Who knows what secrets Corypheus has revealed? Not all of them will be as lucky as you. What they could unleash. My advice? Keep this quiet. Let them speculate. Too many will see this as a challenge. That's a good idea. There are enough idiots in the world who think if they just use enough blood magic, their problems will vanish. It's exactly the sort of thing I want to stop back home. This... this I don't need. What I do need is a copy of the Liberalum. I'll wager I can find Corypheus' real name. If I can prove he was a grasping ankle biter with no family to speak of, the luster would come right off. Wish me luck. I cannot believe the Grey Wardens could even conceive of such a plan. To seek out these old gods deliberately, 
in some bizarre attempt to preempt the blight. And calling the army of demons. That's my favorite part. The demons are nothing. They're a tool. A tool that would have let Corypheus ride roughshod over most of all lay. Even if they hadn't, the entire idea is wrong. The Blight is not something one smugly outsmarts. Forgive me. The entire idea is... unnerving. Inquisitor. We'll talk later. Goodbye. Inquisitor, if you're looking for the commander, he's gone to speak with Seeker Pentagast. No. But you like demons! I enjoy the company of spirits, yes, which is part of why I do not abuse them with bindings. It isn't abuse if I ask. Not always true. Also, I do not practice blood magic, which renders this entire conversation academic. He won't bind me. He's a mage and he likes demons, but he won't help. Why would you want Solus to bind you? So I'm safe. If Solus won't do the ritual to bind me, someone else could. Will. Like the Warden Mages. And then... I'm not me anymore. Walls around what I want. Blocking, bleeding, making me a monster. A mage using blood magic could conceivably do that to any one of us, human or demon. You should ask Solus to bind you too, and then someone can bind him. We'll find a way to keep you safe without... I have a suggestion, if Cole is ready to listen. I recall stories of amulets used by Ravani seers to protect spirits they summon from rival mages. A spirit, wearing an amulet of the Unbound, was immune to blood magic and binding. It should protect Cole as well. The resources of the Inquisition could be used to find such a talisman. Good. They will not take me. You asked for my opinion and I've given it. Why would you expect it to change? I expect you to keep your word. It's relentless. I can't... You give yourself too little credit. If I'm unable to fulfill what vows I kept, then nothing good has come of this. Would you rather save face than admit... We will speak of this later. And people say I'm stubborn. This is ridiculous. Cullen told you that he's no longer taking Lyrium? It seemed very important to him. It's not a decision to be made lightly. But now, Cullen has asked that I recommend a replacement for him. I refused. It's not necessary. Besides, it would destroy him. He's come so far. Why didn't he come to me? We had an agreement long before you joined us. As a Seeker, I could evaluate the dangers. Is there anything we can do to change his mind? If anyone could, it's you. Mages have made their suffering known, but Templars never have. They are bound to the Order, mind and soul, with someone always holding their Lyrium leash. Cullen has a chance to break that leash. To prove to himself, and anyone who would follow suit, that it's possible. He can do this. 
I knew that when we met in Kirkwall. Talk to him. Decide if now is the time. Writing does not come naturally to me, as I'm certain you can imagine. Let me guess, you're composing a love poem. I couldn't, not even if my life depended on it. It's not that hard. Yes, it is. Poetry takes finesse, it takes grace. You think you don't have those things? Historians will one day ask what happened at Adamant Fortress, in the Fade. I wasn't there, but others were. Their accounts must be recorded. That's an excellent idea, Cassandra. I certainly thought so, until I started writing. I still don't know what to say about the spirit of the Divine. The Chantry teaches us that the souls of the dead pass through the Fade, so it could have been her. Yet even so... Do you really think it might have been her? A ghost? A ghost. A remnant of her hopes and memories. Her lingering will to do good. Those things are all possible. Nobody knows for certain what happens after we die. A spirit could have assumed her form, but why? It helped you, as Justinia herself would have. Perhaps it doesn't matter what she really was then. It matters to me, to what I must write. I wish I'd seen her, seen it. I feel so inadequate trying to interpret. I don't know the truth any more than you do. Sadly, unanswered questions make for poor reading. When they told me you were physically in the Fade, I was terrified for you. The last time such a thing happened, we created Darkspawn. We created Corypheus. The world needs to know the truth this time. No more legends lost to the ages. Is why the Kuhn doesn't like women fighting. I should have asked Cullen. Uh, good one. <laughs> Perhaps you can take over. Gunari training exercise to master your fear. Been a while since I needed it, but that nightmare demon was <sighs> big. All right. There we go. Oh, yeah. Damn demon. Who's stuck in the fade, huh? That nightmare wanted to tear you in half. Not a chance. Piece of fade, piece of crap. And who killed you? That's right! Iron fucking ball! I needed that. Thanks, boss. Yeah. 
Any time. Commander Cullen did good work at Adamant. Breached those walls like he'd done it a dozen times. Nice job with the demons, by the way. We'll talk later. Heard what went on in that Fade thing. What you think went on. Can't even start to believe that business. It's hard to describe. Guess you had to be there. No friggin' thanks. Some people are still there. Stroud, yeah? Lost a serious moustache there. And in trade, a busted down bunch of wardens. And they're always weird. Usually, bad stuff happens first, so you're glad when the hero shows up. But wardens are the wrong way round. They're the good thing that means a bad thing is about to happen. Like in Denerith, when the blight ended. It must have been rough living through the blight. Someone yells Darkspawn, and then nothing happens for a long time. Then wardens show up and take your stuff. Or, you know, some prick noble takes your stuff because wardens may ask for it. Then you steal it back. So whatever. The first ones in line to screw everyone weren't Darkspawn. That's all I'm saying. Blackwall's nice, though. Different from the adamant ones. Need more like him. We all did. I serve, as has always been my calling. I knew Stroud, you know, not well. He led the Wardens near Kirkwall. Not many people knew who he was, but the man was a hero when it mattered. He wasn't the first good man to fall to Corypheus. He won't be the last. His story's no good for heroes. Some of us heroes will make it. We're just too amazing to die. Huh. If we're both still standing at the end of all this, I'll buy the drinks. Oh, Hawk asked me to tell everyone back in Kirkwall where he's going. I'll have to let Carver know. I'm sure he'll take it well. I'd better write some letters. Excuse me. Inquisitor, I... I have been thinking. You remember everything now, yes? The explosion at Haven, the Fade, escaping the breach. In your report, you said Justinia was with you. But only you emerged in the end. 
Why? Why were you the only survivor? Demons tore her from me. I couldn't stop them. So you had no time to think. Only to act. Her message to me. I failed you too. I'm not sure I understand what that means. Did you say anything else? Anything at all? Please, if you remember. I'm sorry, Liliana. That was it. There are no answers in the fate. Only illusions. A warped mirror. Justinia has never failed me. I was her left hand. Now she's dead. I failed her. Now this is a hall worthy of the Inquisition. Adamant's influence continues, your worship. I submit Lord Livius Erimond of Virantium, who remains loyal to Corypheus. We found him alive, offering extreme resistance. Likely because the Order will ask for his head. In more colorful terms. To say nothing of justice you might personally require for what was suffered in the Fade. Many places felt the pain of Adamant. You will answer for a great deal. I recognize none of this proceeding. You have no authority to judge me. On the contrary. Many officials have communicated that they will defer to the Inquisitor on this matter. Because they fear, not just Corypheus, but Tevinter, rightful ruler of every piece of ground ye trod in your pathetic life. I serve the living God. Bring down your blades and free me from the physical. Glory awaits me. Lord Erimond, any protection you thought you had has apparently been withdrawn. You will die by my hand. Petty actions. Truth lies in the next world. Another of the lingering pains of Adamant, your worship. Sir Ruth is a senior warden of the Order. She was one of the many who slit the throat of another to bind a demon. She does not contest this. In fact, she surrendered to us. She requests no mercy. She wants the public justice of the Headman's Axe. You're very serious about this. Is more death the answer? There is no excuse in my actions. I murdered another of the Order. That blood marks me more than the Blight ever could. Accepting their actions while thralls of Corypheus, many treaties allow wardens any extreme if it opposes the Blight. I can't do it. I can't use the greater good to justify my crimes. 
as if it would create a future I could be a part of. It is wrong that this broke me. I've done worse with full sanction. I can do nothing except be an example of the cost. You feel your life is over. There's a place for such wardens. Sir Ruth, you'll go to the deep roads. Your death may be as quick as you choose. This sends no message. This is just... an end. Mayor Gregory Dedrick of Crestwood is present for betraying his own constituents. He confesses that, ten years ago, he flooded old Crestwood to kill refugees and villagers touched by the blight. The mayor claims it was to spare the rest of Crestwood, but we only have his word. If the mayor has anything to say in his defense, let him speak. There's no cure for the blight. But I couldn't convince anyone to leave a sick child or husband behind. So you herded the infected into one place and flooded old Crestwood. Were no innocents caught in the waters? Nearly everyone in the village had the blight, I swear it. Have mercy. I couldn't tell the survivors I'd drowned their own families to save them. I, I, I couldn't. The blight was your undoing. Let it also be your means of redemption. I give you to our allies in the Grey Wardens. To fight Darkspawn until the calling takes you. I don't deserve the honor, your worship. But I'll do my best. an interesting development, Inquisitor. A petition from citizens of Val Royale. They... wish to know what Andraste said to you in the Fade. They think she spoke to me. Even Leliana can't trace the rumor's origin. It may be expedient to respond to those asking for Andraste's words. It's not Andraste who saved me. Few people outside Skyhold know it was Divine Justinia who delivered you from the Fade. You could attempt to tell Van Royal citizens the truth, though it may not be as inspiring as they hope. Tell them the Inquisition's position is that the Divine saved me from the Fade, not Andraste. Very well. Some of the devout will be discouraged, but it will placate the Chantry.
in adamant is a shame. I'm still reeling over the army of demons. Imagine what would have happened if the Inquisitor hadn't arrived. How is Baron Edward? Cold, I imagine. Why? If the Red Lyrium continues to grow, the cold will be the least of his problems. Inquisitor. Let us begin. to work. Of course. Hey, you. What's been going on? Just waiting to get back out there. I mean, what? Then I signed on. Wanted to see the world before... What's been going... Not much. The usual. Nice of you to ask. I should go. Maker's breath. I didn't hear you enter. I... Forgive me. As long as you weren't aiming at me, I'm sure the box had it coming. I swear, I didn't know you were... <clears throat> oh. I never meant for this to interfere. I believe you. But whatever good it does, 
promises me nothing if I cannot keep them. Did you know Ferelden's circle was taken over by abominations? I was there. The Templars, my friends, were slaughtered. I was tortured. They tried to break my mind, and I... <laughs> How can you be the same person after that? Still, I wanted to serve. They sent me to Kirkwall. I trusted my Knight Commander, and for what? Hmm? Her fear of mages ended in madness. Kirkwall's circle fell. Innocent people died in the streets. Can't you see why I want nothing to do with that life? Of course I can. I... Don't. You should be questioning what I've done. I thought this would be better. That I would regain some control over my life, but... These thoughts won't leave me. How many lives depend on our success? I swore myself to this cause. I will not give less to the Inquisition than I did to Chantry. I should be taking it. I should be taking it. You give enough, Cullen. I'm not asking you for more. The Inquisition can be your chance to start over. If you want it to be. I don't know if that's possible. It is. <sighs> All right. I need a moment. Can we speak another time? Someone I knew once described Adamant to me. Adamant is, and always will be, the Order, he said. A guardian on the edge of the Abyss. The lone soul that stares into oblivion and doesn't waver. That's what Warden Commander Clorel tried to be. Well, they all tried to be. None of the Wardens we saw wavered. They gave their lives willingly. They died for us. And Corypheus twisted their sacrifice to make it his own. And that's why he has to die. You'll get no argument from me. There's no one to blame but Corypheus. Even Clorel's intentions were righteous. Her desire to protect was so great it led her astray. It's not right. To want to do good, to be good, and have that turned against you. Don't think of what went wrong. Think of their intentions, their sacrifice. Honor their selflessness. Clorel made mistakes, but she was a great woman. And she died a great woman. It's not the armor or the trappings of the Order. It's not the... joining. At the heart of it, all a Warden is, is a promise. To protect others, even at the cost of your own life. Finally, a place for... the horses. I forgot about the Ferelden horses. Inquisition? 
How are your charges? Well supplied. Oversupplied? Never thought a mountain pass could seem like luxury. Farewell. Make her be with you. Let me try. The history of the Grey Wardens is fascinating.
the end of that.
done. Inquisitor.
We are victorious once more. You know, Seeker, for someone with your tact and charisma, you assembled a pretty good little inquisition. I'm giving you the benefit of the doubt in assuming you didn't drag them all here by force. How kind of you. I mean, you never know. You could have killed Ruffles and she Liliana recruited Josephine. They're friends. So there's a rational explanation after all. Just when I thought you had layers.
I appreciate the warning, but you shouldn't have come yourself. What if the guild found out, or... what's his name? Are you worrying for me, or for yourself? A little of column A, a little of column B. I am the expendable one, after all. Oh, <laughs> don't worry, I'll protect you. We'll just have to... Well, this is a surprise. You're the Inquisitor, right? Bianca Davry, at your service. Your name is Bianca. It's a common name. Half the girls in the Merchant's Guild are named Bianca. The other half are named Helga. I lucked out. I take it you're a friend of Varix. Who isn't a friend of Varix? You have met him before, right? Why do you both look like cats that got into the cream? She's taken a huge risk coming here herself. Maybe for both of us. You're such a worrier. There's a giant hole in the sky. I think the Merchant's Guild has bigger things to think about. Bianca's got a lead on where Corypheus got his red lyrium. The site of Bartrand's Folly, the tag Varric found, has been leaked. There's a deep roads entrance crawling with strange humans carting out red lyrium by the handful. 
How do we know they're not using multiple entrances to get to the Taig? Navigating the deep roads isn't like the surface. There's no accurate maps of the whole system, and there are cave-ins, dark spawn, lava floods. If you find a route that gets where you're going, you don't deviate. Trying to find another way could be deadly. Who could have given away the Taig's location? There were a few people who knew. Hirelings from the expedition, a couple of close friends. How they found out isn't important. What matters is we know where they are now. You can get there from Orlais. It's a long way to the Free Marches. The deep roads are all connected. Or they used to be. Collapses and such. Some of them on purpose. They really are roads. They spanned the Dwarven Empire. Went to every corner of the continent. Maybe further. In theory, you can get to any Taig using the deep roads, but in practice... Well, there's a reason nobody uses them anymore. We need to deal with this. As long as he has this source, Corypheus is that much more powerful. I couldn't agree more. I'll keep an eye on their operation. If you're interested in shutting it down, you've got my help. Try not to leave me waiting too long, Varric. I've got my own work to do, you know. Right. That's not going to be trouble at all. Let me know when you want to head to the entrance.
Where's my hammer?
Yes. What do the people make of us? There's scarcely a noble house that hasn't openly pledged its support to us. Any visiting dignitaries I should watch out for? Van Weigart of Ferenden is visiting. An honor, to be sure. Please show no alarm if you hear shouting in his quarters at night. Shouting? His lordship spent a half a year with his lands under siege by Darkspawn during the Ferelden Blight. His wife informs me the band still sleeps rather... poorly. Our soldiers handled themselves well in Adamant. We've come a long way since Haven. I fear there's still a ways to go, but we're prepared. The Darkspawn have been driven back on the Storm Coast. Let us pray they do not return. Let us begin. I can spare some time. What do you need? About that lead of yours, Varric. Sure. The sooner we take care of it, the better. Do you think this lead of hers is real? 
Bianca's too much of a researcher to pass me information without verifying it first. But if you're asking whether she'd lie to us, maybe set us up, it's possible. Not likely, though. She risked the wrath of the Guild coming in person. A message would have sufficed. Whatever she found in that entrance shook her up. That worries me. Carry on.
Finally. Started to think you weren't coming. Nobody said you had to hang out in the creepy cave while you waited. Well, I did wait, so let's make this quick. These idiots are carrying the Red Lyria Mountain unprotected containers. We don't want to stick around long enough for her to start talking to us. Why would the containers need to be protected? Lyrium is incredibly dangerous in its raw form. It can poison or kill dwarves, and we're resistant to it. Sometimes it just explodes. No warning. Basically, only crazy people mine Lyrium. The mining cast doesn't just sling it into a bucket. It's carried in special containers that keep it under control. And that's normal Lyrium. The red stuff is worse. I wouldn't be surprised if most of their miners die just digging it up. You seem to know more about the effects of red Lyrium than most. Varric told me plenty about what it did to him. And his brother. How did you find this operation in the first place? There must be hundreds of deep roads entrances. I've used this entrance in the past. Varric's not the only surface dwarf to explore the deep roads. Oh, I've got to admit, I was pretty surprised when I came here and found it full of humans. We'd better get to work. Sounds good to me. You had me worried, you know. What did I do now? That letter you sent me about the Red Lyrium was the first I'd heard from you since the Chantry explosion. Had it been that long? Seriously, if you'd died in that mess, I'd have come back to Kirkwall and dug you up just to kick your ass. What would you do if I'd been cremated? Kick your ashes, of course. I built these doors. They probably shut this one from the other side when they heard the ruckus we were making. Ta-da! You've been here often enough to renovate the cave. You already know I've used this entrance in the past. I don't know if Eric's told you, but the Merchant's Guild is cutthroat. Literally. I built the doors to keep rivals from following me down here and arranging accidents. Admitted, you've been waiting to do that since we arrived. Of course I was. After you. Get up, you lazy... How is 
What's his name? Bogdan? He's in Navarra right now, selling my machine to wealthy landowners. I heard some of the guild were trying to get you named a paragon for that promotion. And that's not gonna happen, even if I am ten times the smith wrong cabronas. A surfacer paragon? No. Almost fun. Kind of like old times. I don't recall us ever shooting people together. Remember crashing Bartram's guild dinner? We might as well have shot him. This isn't nearly as dangerous as pissing off my brother. this entrance again. Bianca. You want to say something, Varric? Andraste ass, Bianca. You're the leak? When I got the location, I went and had a look for myself. And I found the Red Lyrium, and I... studied it. You know what it does to people. I was doing you a favor. You want to know how this stuff works just as much as I do. I just... wanted to figure it out. How did you go from studying Red Lyrium to giving the location to Corypheus? I found out that Red Lyrium... It has the Blight, Varric. Do you know what that means? What? The two deadly things combined to form something super awful? Lyrium is alive. Or something like it. Blight doesn't infect minerals, only animals. I couldn't get any further on my own, so I looked for a Grey Warden Mage. Blight and magical expertise in one, right? And I found this guy, Lorias. He seemed really interested in helping my research. So I gave him a key. Lorias? He was the Grey Warden we met in Corypheus's... Oh, shit. I knew something seemed off. I didn't realize until you said you found Red Lyrium at Haven. I came here and, well, then I went to you. That name means something to you, Varric. He was at the Grey Warden prison where we found Corypheus. And he definitely wasn't a mage before. You had to know we'd figure out what happened, Bianca. Why did you insist on coming with us? Varric told me what people were doing with the Red Lyrium. I had to help make this right. You told Varric you had a lead, so we had straightened out your mistake. I know I screwed up, but we did fix it. It's as right as I can make it. This isn't one of your machines. You can't just replace a part and make everything right. No, but I can try, can't I? Or am I supposed to wallow in my mistakes forever, kicking myself? Telling stories of what I should have done? Ha! As if I would tell stories about my own mistakes. What's done is done. There's no point arguing about it. Uh, we've done all we can here. Bianca, you'd better get home before someone misses you. Varric. Don't worry about it. Get him killed, and I'll feed you your own eyeballs, Inquisitor.
I'm glad to have answers, but... Shit. The second she showed up here, I knew. I just... I let this mess happen. I gave her the tig. I am not good at dealing with shit like this. I don't think anyone is equipped any better than you are. No, no, the point is... I don't. I don't deal with things. If Cassandra hadn't dragged me here, I'd be in Kirkwall right now, pretending none of this was happening. You realize that nothing has actually been stopping you from doing that. I suppose you're right. Thank you. For your help back there. After all this, do you think you'll see Bianca again? I always do. <laughs>